Resolution 201 is firing up discussion. Some may like it, some may not. It's a subject matter that has sparked controversy before and will no doubt do so again. But Senator Tina Munya Barnes says she's not afraid to bring the talk of marijuana to the forefront. Resolution 201 specifically would call for the decriminalization of cannabis so that local law enforcement and correction officers can focus more on resources on the increase in violent crimes and also to enhance individual, personal and political freedom and liberty. It just brings the opportunity for all the stakeholders in the community. I'm, this is in no way to take away from any of the law enforcement, but to make sure that if, if, if marijuana, cannabis, is known to have that positive effect to be given to patients to help ease in that pain or to make them heal for some great reason, then we let us revisit that. The subject is not new. As you may recall, Senator Rory Respicio introduced the Compassionate Health Care Bill of 2010 that proposed to legalize marijuana for medical purposes only. That measure, however, never made it to session floor. So why a resolution and not a bill? Because when you work with a resolution, uh, it, it gives the opportunity for anybody and everybody to come together and talk about it. Just as we discovered out in the streets with island residents. Like if it was maybe used for like a medical issue maybe, but if it's for like legal just to, to take, just to feel that it's, it's not a drug, then I don't think it's a good thing. I guess it, it helps deal with the pain of some people that has medical issues. It's honestly, it helps the people. Honestly, I've been doing it. I'm not going to lie. I've been doing it. I freaking, I never got sick once I started. So it's, it's a medicine. It's not a drug. Come on now, guys. It's a medicine, not a drug. Legalizing marijuana in Guam? Oh, Hell yeah! Shut up! No, <laughs> no. If the people of Guam are ready to uh, make a discussion on this with the uh, uh, Guam legislature and also the governor of Guam, you know, uh, far some concern is it's okay with me. Barnes, meanwhile, cites several studies and laws passed nationwide to decriminalize marijuana. For example, the measure states that cannabis is safer than alcohol or cigarettes and that laws criminalizing marijuana have failed to control, reduce, or eliminate usage. It further notes that 26 states have passed a variety of laws decriminalizing marijuana and permit the use for medical purposes. Colorado and Washington had even pursued ballot initiatives to legalize marijuana, allowing state governments to capture millions in revenue. Barnes ultimately says times have changed and new information continues to develop. For me, a resolution is a start of an operational framework to move forward if this is what the community wants at large. Munya Barnes, in fact, has draft legislation already prepared. She says with recent arrests related to marijuana involving Armanamco to the cries of our veterans asking for medical relief, it would be wrong of her not to bring the conversation to the forefront. As a policy uh, leader, I'm here to listen, and I believe in my heart that based on what's happening in our community today and based on the suffering of a lot of our patients that go off island for cancer treatment, I've got to at least step up to the plate and look at it from this um, perspective and to know that Guam is not the only one talking about it. Guam Police Department spokesperson officer A.J. Balahaja meanwhile tells KUAM that the chief of police plans on meeting with Senator Barnes to discuss the resolution further. It's illegal, it's against the law, and you know there are crimes out there that are committed because of marijuana. So um, until the law changes, we will continue to enforce it. To read Resolution 201, go to guamlegislature.com. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.